Hi, welcome to the fourth tutorial in the Python series, creating custom definitions to create Python Mad Libs. Last time we expanded our definition of nouns to have a definition that would ask for adjectives. And we were able to show that it worked in our program. Now we're going to figure out if there's a way we can have a single definition that might ask for both a noun and an adjective and deliver it uh, when we want it. So to do that, we're going to go back to our code and we're going to look at our definition. Now you can just guess that this is an easy way to expand our definitions, right? We, we did a copy paste, we, we changed the name of our definition, we changed what our query said, and so the end result was that we were able to have, you know, two definitions that would give us two different parts of speech, but they're really doing the same thing. And we don't, you know, it's not good coding practice to have such a similar definition if we could get away with something a little more elegant. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to actually copy this again, and we're going to create something that just says um, get new word. All right, and, and now we're going to add some input to our definition. So in this case, we'll say um, we'll call it we'll, part of speech. So we're gonna this this what this means in the terms of the definition is that we're we're this definition now requires some input. So we're gonna get a new word. The the de, the variable name is gonna be called part of speech, and now we're gonna use that when we make our query. So instead of asking for an adjective, we would ask for uh, percent s, and then over here we can say part of speech. And now, so this this may, this is not a very, you know, hardcore foolproof definition. We have to give the right kind of input here or else our definition will fail. But uh, I think we can, we can probably still work with this, right? So we're making sure that this matches that. And so now, instead of saying get adjective as its own definition, we could say get new word and instead of part of speech we'll write adjective and instead of get noun we can write the same definition here and we would type noun and so if I've written this correctly, it should. Now we're using a single definition. We're supplying, again, on the fly in the, in the code, we're saying when we want an adjective, we just have to supply. We have to say we want an adjective. When we want a noun, we say we want a noun, but we're using one definition to get it. Let's make sure that works. Give me an adjective and press enter. Ugly. Give me a noun and press enter. Duckling. One day, ugly duckling spoke to the dog and said, and so there it is. So now we've created a custom definition that takes input and can use that input to inform how the output works. So again, thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm trying to keep these short and I will see you in the next one.